All right, welcome to Sunny Day here at Westmore Country Club. And today we're gonna to talk briefly about uneven lies when it comes to simple chips around the green. Now, many of us have very similar clubs we like to use when we chip. But remember, based on the lie, which we're gonna talk about today, I'm gonna to talk to you about how to adjust your body and the golf club for your simple chips around all these humps and swales at Westmore Country Club. So first things first, these are the three common wedges that I have and I use in my bag. I have a 54 degree, a 50, and a 60, not to mention my pitching wedge and nine iron. But for simple shots around the green, I default to my 54 degree for a flat basic lie. So Andrew, why don't you come around? You can see here we've got three piles of golf balls, a downhill chip, a relatively flat chip, and an uphill chip. I'm gonna show you what happens when I use my 54 degree for a shot that's going to go basically to that stick down there. You'll see I get a nice amount of elevation followed by some rollout towards the hole. And although that one was a bit short, we'll do it again and we'll see if my performance can improve. So it did. So now what happens if I have that same shot but on an uphill lie using the 54. If I do this because I'm on an upslope, Andrew, why don't you stand right over here? Because I'm on an upslope, what's gonna happen is the loft of the golf club changes. So you can see my body is tilted to match the slope, which is a good practice. Well, now my 54 has turned into a 58 or a 60. And if I make the same motion, the ball elevates in the air and may come up a bit short. Conversely, if I go down here to the downhill lie, and again, I get my body to match the slope, my 54 turns into a 50 or maybe a 48. The ball is gonna run a lot lower and it may go too far. So rather than try and change your swing, why don't we just change golf clubs? So for the downhill lie, rather than the 54, I'm going to use the 60. If I'm on the downhill slope and let's say it's a grade of 4, 5, or 6 degrees, the 60, when it's de-lofted, is going to turn into that 54 or maybe something like that. So I'm going to make the same stroke as I made before and you'll see the ball runs out very similar to my shot from the flat lie. If I go to the uphill lie, I'm gonna use my 50 degree. So now the 50 is no longer 50. It may be more like 54 or 56. I'm getting my body to match the slope and I'm making the same chipping motion. You can see it flew a little bit lower, rolled out towards the hole. Maybe not the best collection of chips right there, but certainly by using my different lofts that I have in my golf bag, I can achieve similar results to my favorite loft, which is 54 degrees on a flat lie. If you ever want to practice this, we have all kinds of humps and bumps all over on the practice screen, or come on over here. We have this great training aid by our friends at Orange Whip. This looks like a curved kind of orange peel, which really is, that's what it's called. But if I take my back foot and put it up here, all of a sudden you can see I can practice from a flat lie some of my lower trajectory or downhill lies. Or if I do this, you can see I'm on more of an upslope or an uphill lie. This is great to practice if we have full swing, chipping, pitching. Again, a lot of information there, but what we're hoping to achieve is the same stroke and just changing our golf club to achieve different results in chipping and shots around the green. Best of luck. If you have any questions, please reach out.